We already in half of 2023 and Korean drama already have all kinds of trope that exist and they always creative in building situations including pushing characters into forbidden love. Forbidden could mean anything from being forbidden because of your class status, age or job position. Nothing is more tantalizing than a forbidden romance. But, wait. I had made this theme few years ago, and here is the update of K-drama with Forbidden Love which is someone who fall in love with someone they can't have. 6. Boss Sam, Steal the Faith, 2021 Set in Josian period, Boss Sam, Steal the Fate achieved the highest viewership ratings, 9.8%, of any drama in MBN history with well-written, intelligent and enlightening show that will show you another aspect of Korea's historical culture. It is a warm slow burn romance story with cohabitation and mutualism as a basic storyline involvement. And as a historical period drama aspects like royalty, nobility, and system also got the part of the drama and everything is related but politics and diplomacy have minimum involvement. Boss Sam is the practice of kidnapping widows and forcing them to marry their kidnappers during the Joseon dynasty. Young Il Woo as Ba Woo is a degenerate man who gambles, steals, fights, and hides his real identity. To make money, he works by doing Boss Sam. While performing a Boss Sam, Ba Woo mistakenly kidnaps Princess Wan, played by Yuri, the daughter of King Wanghai and the daughter-in-law of his enemy Lee E. Kiam. Princess Wa in become widow in her wedding day because her husband sudden died. Five Tale of the Nine Tale, 2020. <laughs> the Grim Reaper in Goblin, Lee Dong Wook, strikes again with another non-human character in Tale of the Nine Tailed. The mythology, the characters, the little twists, and the fantastical world made this drama became enjoyable to watch. The drama of a non-human and a human with a love story between them. The mythical nine-tailed fox, or Gumiho, Li Yun had to settle in the city many centuries ago. Able to transform into human form, he eradicates supernatural beings that threaten the mortal world. His real aim is to find the reincarnation of his lost first love, Nam Jaya, played by Ju Boa. Right from the start, Tale of the Nine-Tailed had huge potential good drama, but many say that this drama failed in developing chemistry between the main characters. Lee Dong-Wook knows how to act as an anti-hero with lovely characters and also the secondary characters save the day, especially, Kim Bum. He done a good job while portraying negative character with a charm that we can't hate him and we will love him over and over with each episode. There are plot holes in this drama as well and so much missed potential, which is the twists that were meant to be interesting, but just came off as confusing. Four, Pachinko, 2022. Pachinko is an epic American drama television series created by Su Hyu based on the 2017 novel by Min Jin Lee. This drama feel like a roller coaster ride through time and space. Jumping between Korea, Japan, and America to paint a searing portrait of intergenerational trauma rooted in Japan's colonization of Korea in 1910. The drama itself spans over a hundred years, from around 1883 to 1989. It tells a story of a Korean immigrant family across four generations. They leave their homeland in South Korea during the Japanese occupation, survive through the Second World War, and discrimination. The story is told through the eyes of Sunja, a matriarch who triumphs against all odds. Sunja, as she navigates life as a child, John Yuna, as a teenager, Kim Minha, and in her 70s, Yoon Yi Young. This drama is a spectacular piece of storytelling anchored by gorgeous performances by all talented casts and exquisite direction with great cinematography, sets, costumes, props, houses, scenes of a natural disaster all look realistic and are shot beautifully. <laughs> 3. 
Angel's Last Mission. Love, 내가 방금 젖은 꽃잎들을 밟고 미끄러져서 머리가 깨질 뻔했거든. 담당 누구야? 그만하시죠. 나서지 마. 마당 정리 내가 해요. 마지막 한 장의 꽃잎까지 내가 싹다 지운다고. Angel's Last Mission is another fantasy, romance comedy with a supernatural being and a human as a basic storyline. You may think this drama is cliché, super tacky, and cheesy. However, this drama can also make you cry laugh, smile with suspense theme as an addition. Also, the acting was incredible with our main leads are Kim Myung Soo and Shin Hai Sun. If you take a look more, Angel's Last Mission is such a refreshing drama, the plot is somehow creative in a way that it gets you hooked really easily. The story is pretty simple. Kim Dan is an angel who was sent to Earth to help humans with the mission of making Lee Yun Seo fall in love. But, Yun Seo is a bittersweet ballerina who doesn't seem interested in love. In a strange and very drama turn of events, Yun Seo falls in love with Kim Dan and angels must not fall in love with humans. Two, Youth of May, 2021. Go to the house. Where are you going? Youth of May is definitely one kind of drama that will left you breathless with their beauty and sadness. A soothing love story with innocent love between a rich man and a poor woman with additions of mean parent, female lead striking to overcome all obstacles and star-crossed lovers. The story revolves around Go Min Si as Kim Myung Hee and Lee Do Hyun as Hwang Hee Tae. It's their love story, meant only to be a brief fling, that draws you in. Hee Tae is a medical student, who entered medical school at the top of his class. He seems like an easygoing person, but he also has an unyielding spirit and obstinacy. Myung Hee has worked as a nurse for the past three years. She is a lovely person who stands up against what is not fair. With the old-fashioned theme, the drama sincere gives you a satisfying sense of nostalgia, even if you weren't alive during that time. One, crash landing on you. 2019. Another drama with star-crossed lovers theme between a South Korean heiress and an elite North Korean solitaire who fall in love with each other. Yoon Seri, played by Sun Yejin, is the heir to an aggregate in South Korea. One day, during a paragliding, Yoon Seri leads an emergency arrival in North Korea. There she meets Lee Young Hyuk, played by Hyun Ben, a North Korean military officer who agrees to help her return to South Korea. Despite the tension between their countries, the two of them start falling for one another. This drama may be sound cliché, but surprisingly refreshing and fun to watch. A great love story that keeps the viewer interested from the beginning and is brilliantly revealed in the steady epilogues. The perfect balance between tragedy, romance, humor, and characters. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what's drama you love the most in the comment section below.